it's hard to believe that it's been 21 years. Now, in the days following the 9-11 attacks, the Red Cross tells us it received more than a million calls from Americans that wanted to donate blood. Here at Fenway Park today, there was a blood drive, and people came for their own reasons. Paying tribute to, to all of the first responders who lost their lives that day. They've been coming to Fenway on 9-11 for 20 years, giving blood to help those who need it. We just had this huge explosion. In Maura Highcamp's case, she was in the first tower struck on 9-11, made it safely down to the ground and eventually into a Red Cross shelter and will always be grateful and pays it forward by giving blood. They welcomed us into their family, and we've met a lot of the other families, um, you know, that have far worse stories than mine. But, um, yeah, we love coming here. Across town, there were wreaths laid in memory of those lost on 9-11. And for those currently serving in the military, care packages were put together for deployed military personnel and veterans in need. Does that keep a little bit of pressure? I'm on my 11th gallon. Yeah, I've been doing this since high school. Yeah, my father donated and then my grandfather volunteered and my sorority did it in college. So I've just kind of always done it. More than 300 people came out to Fenway for this blood drive. Some were in grade school on September 11th. Some were in harm's way, but they're all here to make a difference in someone else's life. Yeah, it's 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 a kind of a rallying cry around the country of blood drive such as this that everyone feels like they can contribute back and, and help out. If you didn't get a chance to get to Fenway today, no problem. For more information, go to redcross.org. Live at Fenway Park, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, New Center 5.